became aware over the years, ever since the movie just sort of crash landed at the box office, that that a whole generation had quietly adopted this as their own. And it was everybody's sort of secret pleasure. And at, at a certain point, that secret pleasure sort of began to surface and there was pirated productions of the movie. And it became apparent that this was gonna happen. And if we weren't gonna write it, somebody was gonna write it. You know, and we made, we should be the ones to do it. So then Disney came to me and, and, and said, look, we're gonna do a stock and amateur version of this. Um, just wanna let you know that. You don't have to do anything. We'll take the songs and we'll just kind of cobble it together because there's a big demand out there. And I said, no, 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 this is mine. I want to, if we're going to do it, I want to do it. So then they began to take meetings. Jack and I reteamed, and the original writers of the movie uh, began brainstorming with us about this. And it was really when when Harvey Firestein said, I'd, you know, I'd be interested in getting involved in this, that, that sort of raised the stakes. For the dance, da we, we, dance arrangers, Mark Hummel, who's fantastic. Mark just worked on Sister Act with me. Um, and uh, no, that just comes out of the music. You know, obviously it's my, it, it is my music, but I, um, I have a great music team around me. Oh.